Just a very quick update for you today of a little AI hack I found for you. Now, these old way versus new way diagrams are really popular at the moment and very powerful. So this example is from my YouTube Millionaire Mastery Method funnel. And basically this is one of the biggest trends in sales funnels at the moment. I know there's all the sales funnel bros out there talking about the perfect formula, the perfect way to build your sales funnel. And as usual, it all depends on what works for you. But generally, as a feature, these kinds of diagrams have worked really well, where basically it's kind of about messaging and positioning, where you say this is the old way, and you go through all the pain points that you're trying to solve, and then you have your new way, which basically takes the client directly from problem to solution. Work great on Facebook ads, they work great on the actual landing page, so they're always worth testing and playing around with. The issue is, of course, someone's got to design it. So ideally, you go out and find a designer, uh, or you can do it yourself. In either case, they're quite difficult to get right, and you can see this one looks pretty clunky. And so the, the actual layout's a bit annoying to do, and then you've got to come up with the text that's actually going to sell your product for you. So go through each of the pain points and then all the benefits of your service. Now, typically, people do tend to over-egg this and make it a bit more almost like a parody, a bit more ironic, going through every problem with the old way and then just talking about all the bells and whistles that make your version great. So I've been looking around wondering, has anyone created an AI tool to actually build these yet? Because if you're using them on ads and landing pages, you want lots of them to test out. And so far, I just haven't been able to find any. So I went over to Claude and basically said, I'm going to design this myself in Canva, but can you help me out by just giving me the points to put in for each box? And at least that will save me some of the, the mental energy of having to get the tone right and think about which issues and benefits I want to actually put in that chart. So I said, I want to design a flowchart of old way versus new way, most SEO agencies versus SEO Jesus. Give me the points for each rectangle in the diagram. And what I didn't realize was Claude then actually produced the code to actually design this for me. So yes, it gave me the points on the left, but then it came out actually producing this layout. So I can see this in full screen here, and that actually looks pretty decent. So I'd be very close to just screenshotting that and using that directly in Canva. But of course it's a bit basic and the text is a bit dull, so it could be okay for testing purposes, but can we go further? So first of all, I tweaked the copy a bit, just to say I want to be a bit more ironic, comedic, and just a bit more brazen. And then I said, can you style the code for me so it looks presentable? So now we open this one, and now this is looking pretty decent. So in the code over here, we can see it's basically done a lot more work on the styling. So let's look at this one in full screen. And this is looking really good now. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but the fact is you can now create these charts in about two minutes or so. So I could screenshot this bit, screenshot this bit, put them side by side in Claude. I can keep on debating with it. Maybe I can change the font and maybe change the colors a bit, but just for testing purposes, you can now very quickly create 10 of these and test them side by side in your ads. So this is a huge time saver. Wow, okay, I've kept on playing with this, it only took a minute. So if I take it back here, I said use the Poppins font, which is my brand font, and make the colors look better. I didn't really know what colors I wanted, so I just dumped it on Claude, make it look better. Remember with AIs, it's a bit like training people, you want to delegate outcomes and responsibility. So I don't really care how you do it, but this is the outcome I want. Even if I'm being vague, just saying better. Now that went wrong a few times, it came out all long horizontally, and then just ended up breaking it. So it says that mermaid diagrams have limited font support, but now it's just done it in HTML and CSS, and this has actually worked really nicely. It's even included emojis in the titles. So I think my only issue here is it feels a bit, um, a bit heavy, a bit too much to actually read. This feels like a lot to read. Can you make it simpler? Please present SEO Jesus as the fast, easy solution. Okay, it's taking me a bit too literally here. So we always want the pain points to actually be longer. Okay, this is more like it. It's really getting it now. Okay, this is more like it now. So we've got all our old pain points. I basically told Claude, go back to how it was before for the pain point side. So pay 5K a month retainer, sign a 12 month contract, sit through discovery calls, wait for four seven page strategy PDF, weekly alignment meetings. Ah, oh, this is all so accurate. Monthly progress updates, review meaningless charts, blame algorithm updates, ask for bigger budget, still no real rankings, repeat until bankruptcy. So I think the only difference I'd make here is maybe add in a couple more SEO Jesus benefits. And then I think I have to do it in Canva since it's using HTML. I'll just try and move these to stretch these out so that ultimately they reach the same endpoint and it'll just look better graphically. Okay, perfect. Now we're there. So pay from just 1799 a month, get immediate content, build strong backlinks, watch rankings climb, hit 50k traffic value. I've now zoomed out so I can get all this in one screenshot. 
And then once I'm in Canva, I can also use the magic grab setting. So if I do want to edit any of this text, like we say, pay just 1799, but that's our minimum plan. So I'd rather pay from 1799. So with Canva grab text, it'll basically grab the font and convert that into text rather than just an image. Same way as I correct text issues in AI images. Canva was actually too fiddly. So I went back to Claude and was just more specific in my prompts. So I edited individual cards telling it to swap out this text with this text. I told it to make the headings actually look more like headings with dark text and a white background. And then I uploaded my logo saying, can you make the coloring more like my branding? So this now works really well. I am happy to just screenshot this and put it right into Facebook. And this is actually the second version because I iterated this in a separate version where I said I want to compare Google Ads renting traffic versus owning your traffic with SEO. And then once I completed this, I simply went back and said, can you recreate the agencies versus SEO Jesus one in this style? And it did very nicely. So now any variations, I can just put it straight in. This is now a working document, a working formula, where any variations I want to create, it can have all these preset settings ready to go. So hopefully that's been useful. I've not done any sort of AI hacks for a while. So if it was valuable to you, please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, etc. All great for the algorithm. And that will tell me to share more of these little tricks with you.